Well, it may be chilly out this morning, but there is still a ton of things to do to your yard before winter officially arrives. And one of those things is getting rid of those bothersome moles that are, you know, tearing up your flower beds. Mm -hmm. Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us great advice on how to make them just go away. Well, I don't know about you, but I went the entire summer without seeing a mole run. Maybe you had them in your neighborhood, and then all of a sudden, this fall, this late in the season, there's mole seems to be everywhere. This is, uh, I mean, just look at this. It goes everywhere around. Both of these yards are just full of mole runs, and to think this late, well, there's still time. You can still trap the moles, but you have to understand how to find them because when you look at this many runs, and you're thinking, well, where do I set my trap or where do I put the poison? First thing you want to do is you want to push down the mole run in a few spots around your yard and then just mark it with a little something so you know which one it is. And then you wait, you wait 24 hours or so and you come back, maybe do it six spots around the uh, yard and see which one is pushed back up. So then you know that you have an active run. And what <laughs> I'm telling you, it's soft here. Once you know that you have an active run, then you have a couple things you can do. Sure, there is lots of ways. If you want to get a conversation going, talk about murdering a mole. Everyone has an idea. But I have found a couple things. One, traps, and there's different kind of traps. This is a scissor trap. This is the old Victor Spear mole trap. This one's pretty hard to set. But uh, so what you do with, with the traps, in this one, you just take, this is called an easy set. So you drop it down in, put your foot on it, and it's set and then you wait and if it doesn't go off in about 40, 40, uh, 48 hours then you would go start the process over find those active runs and then just keep moving it around the other way is these uh, talprid worms they're like little gummy worms tomcat is the, the brand name there's a few different ones around but I really should have opened this before I did this but so these little gummy worms and you just drop them down and you have to read the label instruction. I usually take a little uh, doll rod like this and just pop a hole in the run and then just push them back in. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a glove on when you're touching them. Uh, so you can do that and then you would just put them about every 10 foot in different areas where you know it's really active. If it remains dry or if it is dry, take a sprinkler and run a sprinkler over the top of where you're trying to trap them because that will attract the moles because what a mole is doing is running up and down the runs looking for earthworms. So the more water that's there, the more earthworms, the more active area where the moles are going to be. So that's what I would do. I would avoid some of the stuff. We saw a lot of this, and every time I say it doesn't work, people swear by it. This is uh, castor oil granules that's supposed to re repel moles. And then this is a little vibrating uh, spike. It's got a battery in it, and it has a little vibration about every 60 seconds. I see no science that says this works, but everybody loves them. And I don't really know why, but it's a good. Uh, you know, chemical-free solution if you think it works. All right, so plenty of time, but you have to do it before the mole starts to kind of hibernate for the winter. But let's get those moles and trap them. Good information. Always wondering how to get rid of those. That's yeah, me nuisances. too. Every day I'm always wondering how to get rid of moles. No <laughs> way. We don't have yards, so we have people take care of that less than I do. Do you, do you have you had a mole problem? Yeah, over the years we have. That yep, here and there. Yeah. You have a yard. Yep. Yes. Just, just you wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one day. Yeah, mm -hmm. one day. Yeah.